because now I am your president. Well, actually, Biden is now your president, not you. Hey guys, it's Mr. Dragon Triple Zero here, starting off with I Am Your President, the prologue. And yes, this type of game exists. In this game, you are a president. Well, virtually, since I'm purposely uploading exactly when Joe Biden is inaugurated. So now, let's jump in by starting out our story of being the president by clicking on New Game. And here we are, 40 years ago, Boston, Massachusetts. You're a lawyer, it's official, you celebrate your graduation with your mother who's been paying the tuition fees for years. You got a sugar mom, all right. This is a nice restaurant and you can already smell your dinner. A light scent of mushroom soup fills the air. Congratulations, my boy, says your mom, deeply touched. You hold a diploma in your hands. There are several things written on this piece of paper, some posh nonsense, <laughs> Harvard sentences, and your whole future. You don't want it? Oh, what? You feel sick saying so. Thank you, I guess. I think the first one would have been fair enough, but uh, whatever. Mom starts to nervously fold a tissue. Her fingers are quivering. It makes you angry and sad at the same time. She says, what's wrong, son? She finally asks. I am not going to become a lawyer. She stays silent for a moment and obviously shocked. Why? I want to change the world, make an impact, decide. So a year later, you make your first decision and become a party member. It's your birthday. It's 20 years ago in Philadelphia. It's your birthday and your mother hasn't called you yet. Wine is nasty. Politicians around you kept babbling. Your wife is standing by your side. Honey, we can go home, she says. You do not sense a question mark. I'm networking. I can't. She looks at you with resentment in her eyes. Ooh, I am tired of you, she says. So am I, you reply instinctively. This is the last time you agree with each other. Sheesh. Ten years ago in Baltimore now, you are now divorced. Time drags by as if it was dripping from a broken tap. You become a prominent politician, and yet here you are, staring in the mirror, wondering what went wrong, chewing on your own hands. You are about to change the world until you screwed up getting a divorce. Apparently, you have to change yourself first. Uh, cut my damn hair. And just after that, you make a decision. You will run for presidency. <laughs> really? From cutting your hair, I all of a sudden become the president. Oh, run as a becoming a president. You are a president. Thank you. That's four years ago, even though Trump was in office that time. So I'm a president. It's official. Your mother calls you soon after the inauguration. You haven't heard from her in years. I am sorry, she says with a tremble in her voice. Congratulations, my boy. Thank you. I mean, after all the arguing we went through, so you press the phone to your ear so hard that it gets sweaty, but your mother hangs up, apparently unable to utter a word. That is your last conversation, ooh, before she passes away. Jeez. Went from getting a degree, that diploma, then 20 years later, argued, and now this, she dies. Wow, that is a big, unfortunate turn of events. Two years ago in Washington... You are making a lot of difficult choices, impacting the world. The high of your presidency is... Let's just be a badass to just prevent terrorist attacks and saving hundreds of lives. Hashtag George Bush. People congratulate you, but you are not satisfied. Not yet. You want to be remembered as the most, uh, let's see, persistent or righteous? Let's see here. Um, I think I'll pick probably persistent. Persistent seems pretty more legitimate of being a president. There is so much more to be done. Now, in Washington, obviously, four years passed by so quickly, you are tired, but crave for more. You simply know that this cannot be the end. You decide to run for re-election. This is your story, and you have to keep going. New year, new start, let's get on with it. And here we are at our desk, dear Mr. President. First of all, I want you to wish a happy new year. Secondly, I'm leaving this card here to remind you about the urgent matters in regards to this year's election. You have to be careful when it comes to making choices, and yet the most crucial aspect is our rating system. We must make sure that we win the second term. I will keep my finger on the pulse and send stuff to remind you about all this stuff. When the right time comes, it's almost midnight as I'm writing this, so you will probably see this message on January the 1st. Well, see you at work in the new, hopefully, better year. The Vice President. Okay, so here... Jesus Christ, tutorials. So we got our statistics bar, which is on the top of the screen. It's going through a tutorial right here. So it's a good edition of the U.S., like the economy, relationships, being the president, power, and military, and all that good stuff. So accept, and here we go. Wait, what's it say? It does look pretty ancient, doesn't it? It must be at least 20 years old. Well, <laughs> time to upgrade our phone if we can uh, prove that. So, door, what's going on here? Dialogues, and... 
Was it a cardboard figure of somebody? You can see how your comments impacted the country only after they've been made. And look out for the percentage sign if it either is a positive or negative um, choice. So accept. The Chief of Staff, 309 days to the election. Happy New Year, Mr. President. How are things going? I've just read the exact same thing. Oh, yes? Yeah, a note from the Vice President. And the frickin' keyboard typing sound effect on here. I see he went home just before midnight. He's really dedicated to his work. Anyway, to cut to the chase. This year is essential. So I thought we should prepare a plan. What kind of plan? Is it related to my election? Um, pretty much. Let's just be legitimate and just see what the experts would say. You know how it is, sir, depending on which expert you ask. <laughs> okay. How the second choice? What are these hot button issues that are people are so interested in? Climate change. <laughs> no response. <laughs> And an immigration control to inflation and taxation. Well, we went through since 2008. Hashtag George Bush part two. People are getting anxious about the status quo as the world peace seems somewhat less attainable. Uh, I made up my mind. Pimp out our military. Let's just double down on our economy, take the second choice here. And that jumped up our economy right here. That's an excellent way to put it, sir. Cool, since that's settled it, leave me be. Get the hell out of here, chief staff. End of meeting. And that is a cardboard so much what? What that say in his, uh, his back? Feature unlocked, investment projects unlocked. What do we got here? Welcome to the project trees. Um, no. So since I was talking about com well, commerce, you will activate these projects, simulate the flow of goods and services. That requires a good 80% of my AP, as you see here. I'm at 100 right now. That drops it down to 20. See, AP cost 80. So it increases the chance of 10 economy per turn and 10 for the climate change per turn. Uh, why not? There we go. Got that over with. My New Year resolution. Find the right presidential quote for each day. Right, Mr. Washington? No. Mailbox. Director of Presidential Personnel, Secretary Rotation, Volume 3. Good morning, Mr. President. Your new secretary is pregnant with quadruplets and we're in the process of looking for a suitable replacement. The news. Well, we got a fire in Oklahoma. Good job, people. There were 203 fire accidents reported in OKC and its closest area, and 107 of them resulted in the complete destruction of the residential buildings. How the hell could you burn up 100 buildings in, like, what, one night? Especially in freaking Oklahoma? Damn, man, fire safety doesn't really exist in this part of this country. Reptilian photos, secret password? What? Damn it! Recycle bin. Trash is empty. Yeah, because you're trash. Yesterday, I was standing right there while watching a fireworks show. Cool. Let's end our day off because there's really nothing else to do. Uh, beautiful beginnings. Achievement unlocked. And that is beautiful beginnings right in my face. 295 days ago, the election. Press the left button something to continue right away. And like that, we got 100 AP back. New article. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cardboard. Cardboard who? I'm flat. Um, that was a janky ass joke. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Certainly, all ears. A boy China once again tried to pressure them, but they Taiwan. Damn it, are they trying to start a third world war or something? Yeah. My best guess is that the Chinese are just posturing and trying to test the waters. Well, interesting. How? Can we nuke them? We can shoot. We're going to shoot Taiwan with five of our intercontinental missiles. Huh? Yes. Huh? Don't worry, sir, they're going to be notified beforehand so that their anti-missile defense system with a C and an S perfectly intercepts all threats, sending a clear message to China that Taiwan is not an easy target. That's brilliant! Yeah, let's nuke them! I take it you approve this kind of plan, sir? Are we getting anything in return for expending our military resources? No. So, what it appears is that we don't want to get nuked for shooting the missiles at them, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think that's what he's saying right there. All right, take a look at the tactical map and make a decision once I do so. End of meeting and cardboard. Map event. So here we are, exclamation point. The world keeps changing and you have to keep up. Click the jump to the event button or to highlight a tag to visit the place that needs the attention. Cool. Hello, Taiwan. So our three options are to launch ICBMs at them or launch missiles and sell them some nukes so they could retaliate. Okay. <laughs> and don't intervene. Oh, let's just launch the missiles at them. Just be a badass. So that's plus 50, what? Relationships and negative 50 military. And here we go. Nothing has happened. <laughs> Nothing really has happened, but launched our missiles. They launched theirs. They intercepted and pretty much exploded over Europe and the Atlantic Ocean. 
That sucks. This will send a clear message to potential aggressors. All decisions have consequences. Yeah, shut up, boy. I can do whatever I want. I'm the president, for God's sake. News and mailbox and calm down. Stop knocking. Oldest turtle on the planet starts swearing. What? <laughs> what, did he just say the F word or something? And we're all, like, <laughs> getting onto it? DIY nuke. Why is this in my bookmarks? Including the Steam store hyperlink here. Interesting. Retirement. Mr. President, I'm sorry to write this about 30k pay for the second term, but I will be no longer be able to cut your hair. <laughs> so cutting my hair had a choice of getting a frickin' barber? A royal hairdresser? What? Reply. So sorry. Jesus, why did you tell me about James Ronald? Indifferent. That's really sad, but you're right. No, his haircut was not so good, but... He'll bite us not deadly disease, right? Is it contagious? I hope not. Angry. What the hell is wrong with you, Ronald? <laughs> your president at his angriest. So, go from your most faithful client, to your president, to your president at his angriest. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny. Well, let's just be sorry for him, Dad. He's, uh, retiring. Okay, he's replying all of a sudden. Thank you very much, Mr. President. You're one of my best friends. Hope you knew that. You're a humble hairdresser, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. So, knock, knock, who's there? It's my chief of staff again. It's been two weeks at how things are going. I hate winter. It's not my favorite season as well. Cool. How about this choice? Spring means storms, melt, flu season, and sweating. Um, sorry, chief of staff. What about my New Year's resolution? They're a must. Yeah, I agree. You have a clear goal. Yay, jump up in military status. I think just be a more social, open president. Okay, that went up there and went down as my um, economic status. All right, thank you, Chief of Staff. Get the hell out of here. Feature on what? Quest. Life of the party. Gain 700 society. Wow, that's a long ways to go. We're at 326, need 700, but that'll take me some time. Probably the entirety of my freaking year to the re-election campaign. News. Suiting stars. Not shooting stars. Suiting stars. Is it a bird's play? No, it's an intercontinental nuclear missile aimed at Taiwan. Oh, we'll admit, you might say, are we the bad guys now? Yeah, we're bad. So for my next projects, this is kind of an interesting one here. Delaying the foundation for the future of the U.S., you get 100% of more economy and 100% to get negative 5 of the climate change or the climate system and negative 5 of, uh, what is this, politics? Oh, diplomacy. I mean, that doesn't seem too bad, but watertight seems pretty bad. Ish, even though it's a 20% chance, but it's 100% to gain 20 of the economy, 20 of diplomacy, and a 20%, these are all per turn, 20% chance of negative 50 of uh, society and negative 50 of politics. I think I'll just go balls deep and just do the watertight administration and just go for it. So right off the bat, negative 50, negative 50, 20, 10, 30, 0. And I think there is nothing else to do. Let's end the day off and go on with 289 days to go. Do you want to build a snowman? No, this ain't frozen. A snowstorm. The whole country's been covered with a white blanket and people cannot leave their homes. Yeah, a frickin' three, four feet of snow just blanketed the entire United States like you usually get in Lake Tahoe, Aspen or something, but... <laughs> okay, this is interesting. A negative 15 of all states. Wow, knock knock. Who's there? Chief of Staff again. Oh god, sir, I thought I wouldn't make it here. I just received the report. It's awful. Just awful. It's a complete disaster. I just stopped the accident. The snow is literally everywhere. This must be a winner of the century. They said winter is coming, and I did not believe them. What a fool I was. I think that was a meme, not an actual prediction. Uh, alright. I should have played dumb of like what a meme actually is. It just expl have the chief of staff explain that to me. I like the last option. I like polar bears, but it seems it'll piss off the politics and the economy status. So, put some money into development. Yay and not yay. Just a reminder, we're not able to fund all development of strategies, so to make some choices. Um, I think I can handle that. Could you please address them? Did we not freeze up and everything's just gonna be fine? Me, uh, fingers are benumbed, not numbed, benumbed with the cold. Okay, we got ourselves a Twitter account. Uh, what is your screech? I think this is the parody of Twitter. Screech going to be freezing let's see well don't die please are you having a stroke mr president i see the white house is secured and soon the rest of the country will be as well do not open the windows though cold wood in my fireplace is nice crackling and my hands are now warming up i suggest you light us fire as well poor i just really love polar bears you know how about dinosaurs they cool too right what's this piss the people off 
No polar bears in the refrigerator. Doing fine. Uh, can someone pull me out of the polar bear's jaws? I just want to take a look. Thanks. <laughs> By Grandma Barb, imposter and fake president. Is this the President Burner account or something? Really? Uh, hashtag I have a president. 1,300k screeches. Not, uh, is that 1.3 million or something? I am your president. Add your Steam. Wish list. Thanks. It really helps. That's nice of them. Email news and developmental strategies. Knock, knock, who's there? Whatever news. Prolonged home alone season. Americans stuck in snow. Nice. Don't panic. Yes, don't panic. I agree. Shame on you. So I can get emails from random citizens. Okay. I have to ask, is your heart as cold as the weather outside? Because here in Aberdeen, Washington, there was not a single warning about the blizzard. You and your government did literally nothing to save us. This morning, I woke up to find my wife and my five-year-old daughter frozen in her backyard. What the hell are you doing in your backyard, man? You should be inside unless, uh, you're not literally living in a home or something, which is unfortunate. And I blame you. No, I swear, sympathetic. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, they actually died. Oh, shoot. Ironic. Step one, let your wife and daughter go outside during the worst snowstorm this country has ever seen. Step two, lamb it and blame your president because they're frozen to the bone. Step three, profit. Maybe this funny message from your commander-in-chief is some kind of profit. AK, Eddie K, LOL. Your funniest president, Andrew. Heartless. Listen, moron. I'm not your dad. I don't have to take care of you or keep you warm. You're a grown man who let his family die in a freaking snowstorm. Therefore, you're a goddamn waste of space and that's all I got to say. Not your president. Let's just be funny about the loss of their lives. I swear, they're gonna really sue me. Ha ha, LMFL, XDDDDD, really funny. Thank God my wife and kids are fine because if they were really dead, your joke would have been cruel. Oh, I really... <laughs> I really took the chances on making a joke about their quote-unquote deaths of hypothermia being frozen, but they're not really dead dead. These frozen figures outside turned out to just be snowmen some neighbor kid built. Okay, then. That is an awkward-ass email. What's this highlighted for? Developmental strategies. Whatever. Weather Crisis Center. Do it. And that dropped down my budget right there. Knock, knock. Who's there, Matt? Uh, sup, ma'am? You are... Miss Allison. Good boy, Mr. President. How are we feeling today? As the great William Shakespeare once said, Who the hell are you? Oh, sir, don't be so defensive. Everyone calls me Miss Allison. So you can call me that as well. I am most of all a human being, but also a self-improvement coach. I'm here to help. Who told you I need help? Your director of communications, a close friend of mine. He's worried about you. Been a lot of stress lately because of the elections. Oh, he a fraud. Well, whatever. At least improve the politics thingy right here. So I don't want to really keep going down and down and down and piss off my cabinet, everybody. First, answer me this. Don't you feel stuck sometimes? Don't you want to stand up and leave? How about this option? Yay, it went up both right here. We all feel like that sometimes to solve this problem, one must find the root of his problems. My mother? Oh my god. Yeah, well, my wife is no longer mine. Oof. Oof. Why did that happen? She couldn't accept me as I really am. She thought I was someone else or that I would change for her. So who are you, really? What is that truth about you as a person, as a conscious being? I'm the president of this country, GTFO, get out of here, and, um, up three. Amazing, actually, wow, I think I'm cured. Someone will pay you, I'm sure. That went up too, great, I'm being a better, better president, end of meeting, goodbye ma'am. Look around, now you've regained a near total control of your body? So, I was in a hyperthermia sh state or something? Press control to looking around enabled. Uh, okay. Mailbox. Watertight administration. DR president. Not dear. DR president. You might think you could do whatever you want, but remember the US is a ship. You might think that you're a captain, but every captain can be thrown overboard. And without your friends and people who support you, you are nothing. Um, get the hell out of here. You're just an anonymous person. Just like Trump said, get out of here, get the hell out of here. So that'll do it with I am your president, the prologue. This is quite an interesting game. From your humble and rough journey of being a politician to becoming the President of the United States. While it was kind of a rough start with my cabinet members and the public's relations, I should pick up later down the road. Also, if you want me to continue with this series, let me know down below in the comments. Including my first time making a teaser intro for this video. It's part of my watch time research project that I've been doing for quite a while. 
So let me know if you like the concept of having those teasers. If not, then it'll be the last time you'll see them. So this has been Mr. Dragon Triple Zero. I'll see you in the next video.